Hey there, it's Dr. Dave here again with another LS tutorial. In this tutorial I want to look at inheritance. So what's inheritance? Well inheritance is a way of reusing code that we've developed from an existing object. So if you recall, we've got we've created this chicken object, or we've included this chicken object in which we've created a number of methods and functions for. Now what we want to do then is to be able to reuse those methods for additional chicken objects. So what we're going to do firstly is rename this and let's call it Fancy Chicken and then save this object and we're going to put it in here and save that. Now what we can do is go up to here and we want to import. So again we want to let's just uh, go through there, browse through there, uh, examples and then objects and we want to import one of these fancy chicken objects. So now you see we've got a second fancy chicken so click on click on him and let's just move him away a little bit. So I've got a second fancy chicken and if we click on the fancy chicken we see it's got got the same methods and functions even. So you see we've got that function now that we created for the first chicken. So we don't need to go through all that effort of re-implementing all of those methods and functions, which is fantastic. So what we can do now is go in and create, we need to recreate these events. So if you look at while the world is running, and again we change that to while the world is running, we're going to do a random move for our second chicken and we're also going to include this I mean, I can't do a copy there so we can include this event which does the checking as well so recall that's while something is true and we need to change that to when something becomes true so when the second chicken moves out of bounds we want to move to the centre Okay, we've see we've saved a lot of work by by just using inheritance. So let's create another one just for the sake of it. So import and again fancy chicken and we've got our third fancy chicken there. And again we'll move that one this way a little bit. And again we go go through the same process. So note we can't do the copy unfortunately. Although I might, let's just see if we can copy using the, the clipboard. May or may not work. There we are. Very good. So let's change that to the third fancy chicken. And similarly we'll use the clipboard here. And drag that back over to there. So we need to change that to... Oh, we probably need to actually go into here drag that one over to there and see if we can change this. So that'll be the third fancy chicken number three and we want to call move to center. Excellent! So now we've got three chickens. So let's see what happens. Speed them up a bit. You can see there now that we've got that random behavior going on. Not all doing the same thing at the same time and hopefully obeying those boundary boundary conditions as well. So I'll stop that there. So excellent, so we can see that all our hard work in developing the methods for the first ch fancy chicken is rewarded by using inheritance and being able to reuse all those methods and so forth in newly created objects. Okay, so that just about wraps that tutorial up. I hope that's useful. That's our first introduction to inheritance. Very powerful tool. And I hope you can find some use out of this.